What's going on, everybody? I've got the Chuck, I've got Raya, and I've got Erwin. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Amazing. Doing well. So, Chuck, yes, we sir. had a question for you. Shoot. Let's say I'm a next gener. I'm, I'm a little too old right now, but yeah. I used to be. And everybody's asking me, hey, are you going to GSX? It would be awesome to see you. And I'm thinking I would totally be going to GSX if somebody were sending me. But maybe nobody's sending me. Is it worth the investment? And how can conferences like this help accelerate my career? Hmm. Go Let's ahead. see. I'm right. I'm... There we go. Yeah, I did the math. 35-year member of ASIS International. The answer is yes. The other question and the answer to that is yes. Make the investment to be there and be a part of that because it's all about the relationships. So if you're thinking, I can't, I can't go, I need to have the money, someone's got to send me, do I make this investment in yourself? I'm going to answer absolutely positively. And there is a plethora, big word, of reasons why you should do that. Number one, with great bias and great Texas fun, Texas night is in Texas. It's what we call a value proposition because the night before the ASIS GX, uh, GSX floor opens, you're going to get an opportunity to hang out with 3,000, up to 3,000 people at Gillies. 92,000 square feet of Texas fun where people are going to be there to empower networking. There's your value prop right there. And it's not going to cost you one penny, just the investment in you to get to ASIS GSX. Tim, you've oh. been to Texas night, right? Oh, I totally have. And I've already posted on it. When I post this or when next gen posts this, I'm going to post my thing in it. But it's not technically part of the conference. If you happen to be in Dallas, you can for free show up to Texas Night, one of the best networking events in the industry. Absolutely. Going on almost 10 years, kicking off ASIS GSX. You're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, or if you want to drive all the way from, I don't know, New York City, you can do that and come to Texas night and have a great time and meet great people. Opportunity to find out who's hiring, what new business deals are happening in the security world, what's going on, how to be involved, how to be engaged, what is this ASIS committee doing? What are you involved in? Where are you out? This is all about people and people getting together. And there's no substitute, zero, for people, human beings getting together having a great time and doing business and building relationships. If anybody wants to argue with me on that, bring it. So a few weeks ago, I left a super cryptic comment <laughs> about a story about Chuck. And I'm going to say this story. I'm just going to let it hang there. And then and then Raya and Irwin can jump in and, and add their perspective. Enlighten us, Tim. It's, it's amazing. Watch out. All right. So... Because I had a really good mentor, Ray O'Hara, I was fortunate enough to have access to Ray. He knows everyone and he is an expert at building your career. So he got me in touch with the right people at the right time. I was on the ESRM steering committee in 2017 and in 2018, we were launching that big initiative at GSX in Las Vegas. So I was there. I met Tim McCrake for the first time in person that he remembers and um we were going over a talk that we were going to be giving and I was a little bit starstruck to be honest. Like I was like, I can't believe I'm going to be giving a talk with Tim McCray. And then he said, Hey, Chuck's throwing an event in this hotel. Let's go, let's go meet Chuck. Do you know Chuck? I was like, no, I don't know Chuck. And he's like, let's go. And so we start walking. And as we walked, I was getting a little nervous and I was like, I don't know these people. These people definitely don't know me. Do I even belong here at this event? So we came into the, the bar, the saloon, maybe, uh, where you were holding your event in this hotel. And Tim McCray introduced us. I sat down at the table. 
We had great conversation. Chuck was gracious enough to introduce me to everyone that came by, even though I was a very unknown commodity. He gives me his business card. He says, if you ever need anything, call me. Right. And he's always responded when I have. We call that the friends of Chuck way. Texas night. All right, Raya, what do you have? Self-marketing. All right. Well, I mean, if we're taking it to Texas night, I went for my first time last year. We were in Atlanta and I was just like, all right, I got this invite from Tim. I'm like, all right, it's Texas night. We're, you know, we're going to have some full barbecue slider, full whatever, pork sliders in the corner somewhere, you know, whatever. I'll make an appearance. I was blown away. I really, really was. Um, um, it was, it was, it was so great. It was so much fun. So many people. I, I can't even tell you how many business cards I collected that day. And I'm not even in sales. I'm just, I'm just a marketing person, you know. So, I thought that was just amazing. And going back to attending GSX, I've been attending GSX. I'd say for the past several years. And, yeah, look at that. Look, 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 Chuck. I think that's, that's probably right. how many I had that from that exactly. one. That one night. <laughs> right. Exactly. So you know what? I'm this is what it's all so about. <laughs> there you go. Time's making it rain. Um, but yeah, like I've met so many people. And, you know, when you're in a security industry and you start hanging out in certain circles, right, you, you get to know all the big security influencers. And, and like Erwin, you could probably agree. Tim and Chuck are just two of those people, right? Like, like, Everybody in the industry knows you see you guys all over LinkedIn. Um, and I mean, I think I think personally for me, GSX and, and ASIS has just really contributed to like my career, it's just the people I've met, what I've learned. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for this year. I'm excited for, you know, I'm excited for Texas Night and not just because these guys are no, sponsoring the Chuck. <laughs> Um, Erwin, last year was your first GSX, am I correct? Yeah, yeah, and and also first time Texas night. That's, Were you surprised? Uh, well, this is in, listen in Spanish. This is muy importante, okay? <laughs> because here's real right. This is the next gen. This is this is the perfect example, Tim. Am I wrong? You're not, and I have the question: Were you surprised at how? how how easy it was to create conversations with people that you'd heard of you'd seen during webinars and podcasts and 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 how easy it was to network with them yeah it was really easy and i have to say the the welcome at the entrance was already amazing before you come in and that that's where it starts so <laughs> the bar was already said hi and then you get in oh man you got to speak to so many people eat together, uh, have the discussions. Uh, what are you going to do at GSX? Because it's before GSX. So you're able to meet up, uh, maybe you meet a vendor, you want to learn more about the product, but you, you, you've never heard about them. Could be first time. Uh, this, is, this is amazing to just go to an event and uh, build your connection. So, so if there's a next genner out there thinking, Mm -hmm. maybe I should just find a way to go. Here's my plan that I would have for you. Come to Texas night. It's free. Come meet Chuck. Come meet me. Come meet Raya. Come meet Irwin. And say, who here do I need to meet because I'm in this sector? Each of us will connect you up with one to two people. You can set a time for meetings at the show. And you're off to the races. Last word, Chuck. Texas nights in Texas. That's how I'm going to end this. And uh, I, but I have to tell Erwin one thing: when you're waiting in line, and there will be a line, so get there by 5 p.m. when the doors of the saloon swing wide open for everybody. You're going to be greeted by a cowboy with a rope on a horse doing some rope tricks, and there's going to be drones flying above your head. And the rest of it's a big secret. So before it even begins, even before you even get it inside, you're going to be thoroughly entertained and you're going to be ready to, as Louise say, and I'll keep a low tone on this, hashtag, yeehaw. <laughs> uh, well, Chuck, Raya, Erwin, 
thanks for joining me. Thanks for putting this out there. And uh, we hope to see you at Texas Night and GSX. See y'all there. See you down. See you there, guys.